And we're live on Hits 103.9 FM. Stone Boy is seated directly opposite. How you doing, bro? I'm fine, Chief. Good to see you. Uh, good. Yes, so we thank God. <laughs> the Sapa is here. Yes, sir. But you're not title. What, what are you doing with it? It's like you don't celebrate it enough. I, I do. Really? Uh, but you're right. If you don't like us in, that means there's more room for improvement. And so we need to celebrate. Do, do, know, you, have, do you have kings, kingsmen who are grooming you to enjoy that, that seat? I think yeah, it's more of like a recognition and a responsibility you know <laughs> and a form of encouragement and a, an entitlement which keeps you grinding i was in the north i think last weekend or last week and you feel that uh, passion in this over there because that's where it is so you get to be accorded the privileges that you deserve as a uh, passion in out there and, uh, so i think it's working mm, i see welcome Welcome. Well, Thank you very you, you've much. not been here in a while. It's been about what a year. Yes, yeah, so and I miss DJ Hagla so much. He, <laughs> he said he wouldn't give me Kwa this morning. <laughs> Your guy, Adele, my my side chick. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of side chick, ask Louisa. Ah, oh, my wife is very fine. Mm. Great this morning. You need you need to say a big thank you to her. The other time I sent you a message that you have to thank her. You know, I, I visited her at the clinic, and she take good care of me. You know. What? Yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> you know, I said she took good care of me. <laughs> what? Uh, she took good care of me. Yeah, yeah. But, but her job is, is, is hard, man, for you yeah, to be. Yeah, to, hey. You know, especially in these times you're exposed to, mm -mm. you know, all these things. But yeah, we thank God because this tells you that the frontliners and the health workers are going through a lot that we don't even know. Mm -hmm. Many of them, you know, have, you know, have died out of this corona mm. and all these ones. So we just have to also keep them in prayers. And while she's dealing um, with the teeth, I mean, it's saliva. Yeah. Anything can happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So in, in these COVID times, how have you been? Um, what have you been doing? I know shows may have been canceled. Yeah. Uh, promotions may have been on hold. What have you? Uh, I hope I'm right, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. You're right. Um, we have been up to a lot of things as well. I think on the other hand, it's almost as if um, I have, I'm cont I've continuously found my way through how to, you know, keep weaving, you know, I'm amongst, like, I missed this um, pandemic. And it actually being interesting and, 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 and teaching, you know, us a lot about, you know, about, about, about how we have to, condition our minds you know towards living in the new normal <laughs> if you know if, if, if that's how I can, I can say it i've been doing a lot like you see me continuing to push my music continuing to do my work like go about get my videos done get you know get 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 the right links sealed in get the music going and get the work going get the business going and get things going which is one of the reasons why i'm even here you know to mm. continue to push and promote you know, irrespective of the pandemic that we all have, mm. we all are living in right now in, in these times. Yeah. Do you miss the stage? Yeah, I miss the stage definitely. <laughs> I, I I actually miss that time where there's no corona, like you don't hear any corona matter. <laughs> that's just I think that's what I really miss. But now, whatever you do, you would have to consider because I've done a few shows as well. What you know, even within this time. I've been able to do the GHE night, which was like a virtual concert mm -hmm. somewhat. And so that was a stage for me as well. So it was only that there was no um, heavy, crowd. heavy crowd over there. And I've done a few of, of those. So I, I wouldn't miss the stage so much. But I mean, that, 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 that I miss the moment where you can fly about, you know, go here and there to do your shows without having to think about you know these protocols and stuff yeah. mm -hmm. and and in the in these times i've seen you on on social media advising people and they've been um is it has it got to do with mtn i think um it's, it's linked with mtn eh? mm -hmm. yeah it was about the uh hey it was about the 
the the the, the nose the face mask thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, I joined in a charity campaign. Okay, you know, uh, put together by a, an agency that was actually connected. I mean, let me let me spill it here. Since, um, <laughs> big respect to Mr. Okekumante. Okay. You know, he called me and said, you know, somebody wanted that. I'm like, yeah, cool. Why not? It's a good initiative, and I can only support such and such. People know me that I do support such things if the time is is you know suitable. Mm -hmm. And then I think it we we. we we sent some messages across to the people to know that, I mean, we want to live our lives, but we have to consider how to go about them. Else, we are, you know, we're in dangerous times. But um, in these times when almost every artist is crying out for help and there are no shows, uh, they are spending too much, they, no income, but rather... Well, they're holding on to the little they have. You seem to be doing too many charitable works, giving out cash, buying this, buying mm. the. Why? <laughs> <laughs> eh, you know, we're all facing it, you know, because the income flow is not as solid as it would have been without, you know, the corona pandemic because we would then have more work. People have lost their jobs. But right from the onset, I, the same person, put together the BIM skills in Ashaiman where I have to solicit for funds to support, you know, and bring some professionals about who would also teach some people some handy works and that. And we're so proud. That's by the virtue of the Livingston Foundation, the BIM shop, basically, and Burnington Music Group, by the support of uh, 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 some of some supporters, you know, and, 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 and people, stakeholders, stakeholders huh? yes. You know, we were able to put that together. And I think it was a great thing. That week saw me, you know, trending and on business news, which 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 I can't forget because, you know, to get your stuff on business news, then you know you're headed towards the right direction. And I believe that in these times, we are part of the people who, who are in the fore, you know. So we would have to go hard, you know. We can't, we, we can't submerge in the in, in the vibe we have to stay strong for others to also stay strong so you know we've done charity works charity performances from from all levels you know from the uh b you know you saw the mtv whatever like we've done so much within this time to make it feel like i'm not even affected in any way but i i also i heavily am you mm. know yeah so why don't you slow down on it then that, that doesn't really mean I should slow down, though, <laughs> uh, you know, because it hasn't. You see, I, I, for me, I don't I do the necessary like I can. So I'm doing it. If I couldn't, I wouldn't. Yeah. Mm. And you, you, you bought a car for um, what's the name of the producer? Ajikot. Um, that was the, uh, honestly speaking, it was a it was an idea that um, Sister Aisha brought, you know, and. And I'm like, I like the idea. So what do we do? Let's let's get it done. So she played her part and I played my part. And then we did what we could do. Because, I mean, I think it's a good thing to do in the times that we find ourselves. And he knows the man personally. I tell you, that that, that was my first time when we were giving it out to him. It was my first time I met him. Oh, but really? I've, I've all, yes, please. You had never met him? No, sir. I've always, always been an admirer of um, the era when... If you did so well, you could grab yourself a huge investor yes, who yes, could yes. just be behind your back. Uh, I never came up like that, but we've heard stories of how they they're almost ending up. Well, how the business is not you know changed, and then so I mean I shall put that on the table. And she did majority of the work. I'm not even gonna lie. She deserved the credit. She did majority of the work. I only supported in a very tiny manner, you know. Mm. <laughs> so. Speaking of Aisha Modi, so what? It, which, which role does she play in your camp? Aisha is like a big sister to 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 me, you know. Um, when she opened, when she started to follow me on social media, and when we met, I think once some a long time ago, I I could I wouldn't even have remembered. I couldn't recollect that that's the Aisha. So all these years. I'm talking about all up until 2017. Mm. I didn't know who she loved Stoneboy was. You know what so I mean? It was, it was that handle exactly. all, that, all, all exactly. those times. I didn't know who she loved Stoneboy was all through to 2017. If I said, I'm being super honest. And then, you know, 
the love she has for me, you know, honestly, is huge. So I, I, I sense that in diverse ways. So you realize when I got to know, okay, I, got, I actually got to know about her like in person, just everything, like I said, but through, I even got Clara through um, Book Bag Bright. That was okay. when I realized she existed because mm -hmm. I thought it was an account. To me, I just made my mind, I just felt like it was an account that was acting on, on somebody's behalf, like it's a camouflage right. account, like the person didn't want to show face, mm. but they have a lot of love to give, so they just, you know, mm. until I, I met, and then with, she's been a sister, a huge fan, and I repeat, she's not a PRO, she wouldn't even want to be, if, if she could, I have to be honest, she is just a, a, a free-spirited person, mm. you know, who, who's living a life, you know, who has expressed a lot of love and support for the Stoneboy brand, you know, and she has expressed a lot of support for the, for, 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 for the industry and a few artists that I have found out within this two to three years, you mm. know what I mean? So that's where it stays. Trust but, me. But the love is super deep. Super. To the extent that... And I appreciate it a lot. Like, I have to big up yourself, Aisha Modi. Like, she has a family, she has siblings, she has people, but she always, 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 always shows love when when she can she goes all out for storm as far as i'm concerned like i mean you have to be honest but she's not in any manner my pr my pa my pro no 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 so when she acts as a pr when stuff ab about you come up and she's doing live videos mm. she's on social media um for want of a better word ranting mm. how how do you how do you step in but who doesn't talk about um, celebrities in Ghana. We have a lot of handles on Instagram, on YouTube. It's just like the bloggers who just say what they know. Like, you know. I'm talking about someone who's very close to you. Yeah, th that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I'm just building a point, you know. Like, either close to me or not, sometimes some people's opinions are ahead. Mm. You know, we have people who speak about us with with we with, with speak about us and the world goes and they bam like when Ola Michaels I mean came up with a gun story ba 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 ba, ba, ba. <laughs> it was believed Ola was not supposed Ola was not necessarily close to me <laughs> you know but it was carried on about so I think I'll leave it at that on that level because people when things come up about us they speak they talk but when she is close to me then it becomes an insider story how about somebody who's not close to me and making an insinuation then i think whoever is not close to somebody when they make an insinuation or they talk their mind or their opinion they shouldn't be regarded mm -hmm. but sometimes when she goes do you consider some of the things she says ah this, this one dear yeah. some of the things you see me i've i've come to this point and i'm glad i'm saying this here right now like She's, I've seen her like a big sister that I have zero control over. Okay. Like this is somebody I got to know in person not too long ago. And she's just been herself over the years till mm. now. Mm. You know what I mean? And I tell you what, she's, she's, she, she's a free spirit person, a strong person. She doesn't take opinions. She doesn't listen. You know mm. what I mean? I mean, in, in, in a way, in, in, in quotes. <laughs> okay. And that's the kind of demeanor she has. So you're either working for her or not, but. Com compared, I mean, concerning the things she has spoken about, which I'm involved, especially the soccer day, she blew it up in the light. Mm. She was there, like there, T H E R E. At, at, at that T -H -E -R -E, time. T H E R E, there. Okay. She was there. Which means whatever she <laughs> said. <laughs> whatever she said, owing to I, what happened right there, mm. she was. But anything else outside of that premises, I can't guarantee. Mm. That, that's it. It means whatever she said was true. Outside of the premises, I can no, guarantee. I mean, at, at that within time, the premises, hmm. she had, she also gave her verdict of the story, and she was there. I went with her actually that evening when I came back from wherever. She, I saw her call, and I'm like, "Oh, sis, this evening, this be where they go. You go, go more, go support." Okay. Bang. That's how come she followed. Okay, so sometimes you invite her. Come, come let's go. I mean, random, so, like okay. with a vibe. Yeah, right. yeah, And she would be there anyway if it's my event. Even right. if I invite her or not. Or, you know, like everything is on social media lately. Mm -hmm. Like people know Agwan. I come to interviews and I meet a bunch of fans just because they know Agwan. Right. And they follow the stuff. So, mm -hmm. you know. But it, it, I agree with you that she's a free-spirited person. I've known her for years. You know, I lived with her, <laughs> I lived with her in New York. So I, I, I know her power. Wow. Yeah. 
Once I was at the Bronx, she was at Long wow. Island. And so I know Aisha Modi very, very well. Wow. Um, I, I recently met her mom. She's such a sweet Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, Absolutely. So, so now, you, previously, we, we knew that um, Black City was, was your manager mm. and that we could, we could go to him for business. Mm. I mean, why should I come to the artist if, if the manager is there? If, if I need to do business with you, and this morning someone even asked the same question. Mm. That Andy, so now who is this PR? Who is this manager? Who is this? We don't know what, what's happening with our brother. And I think that, that was a very good question to ask. Who do we go to? Who's your manager? Listen, listen, from that time till now, I've increased times thousand. So that tells you work is going on even better. You know what I mean? And that's mm. what we should be grateful for. How was I able to work from that time till this time? If there was no contact, how was I able to come to this interview if there was no contact? It's simply put, 050-155-000-00. Call Bernetan Music Group. And when you is call... Is that the number? Please put it out yeah, again. 050 15 50,000. Okay. There's a company. If you call <laughs> <laughs> if you call the company, we'll direct you to the suitable areas where we can go on. Mm -hmm. I, I believe that this is very, you know, open to, you know, and if you're friends with me like we all do, sometimes we do we I mean we live in a society I definitely should be sociable enough or have some people's numbers. DJ Hagler would hit me up, you hit I'll hit them up, vice versa. You know, just just because you know the president doesn't mean that you can get up to go to the Flagstaff House for a right. meeting. Right. You might have to call a number, get to the PA, and if the president is that close to you, something's it's just as simple as that. But call 050 155 <laughs> 50,000. Thank you. 050 15 50,000. Mm. You'll be welcome, smooth. If you like coffee online, we'll send you coffee, we'll send you tea, we'll treat you nicely. And you know, online tea. <laughs> Speaking of coffee, Charlie. <laughs> Uh, have you have you been served with your Nescafe yet? Uh, that's the machine right there. Wow. Uh, yeah, man. So Please serve me. I beg, fly. Uh, what do you want? Hey, Nesca. coffee. Coffee. Let me name Musa. Okay, I so Charlie, give me. I beg, fly. Serve him three in one. My favorite, and and get one for me. You know, so on a serious note, that's it. And you can always email stoneboyofficial at gmail dot com. And I know these people are asking questions and they are concerned, but this is no. This is of no. It's not. It's not trouble at all. I mean. Call these numbers anytime you want to engage me for business, for work, for info. You're going to be directed to the right sources here. Yeah. Mm. But speaking of calls that are oh, you, Chai or Hagla, Andy, you hit me up. Oh, this there, there have been several complaints too that you don't yeah. answer your calls lately. Oh, uh, <laughs> that is on a personal level. On a personal level. I think that complaint goes to personal, personal privacy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And and I'm a victim. <laughs> oh, senior man, but the thing is, uh, okay, I'll say no. But me, I know, my I know crashed, sometimes I believe my, my phone crashed three nights ago. Okay, my I just I woke up one morning and said memory full, and then it crashed, so I lost every contact. But I think that wouldn't fit for the excuse. But prior to that, I've been super, I've been busy, I was all on the road, and I've been getting you know, and I've I've locked off my phone call, and I'm only active sometimes on WhatsApp. Okay. Which is the truth. That's how come some things have cut down. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm asking because few well few days ago there was a and yeah. mentioned that you don't answer his calls if he calls. <laughs> Why are you looking at Abula? <laughs> no, I was looking outside. I saw a shadow. I thought Shata was here. Yeah. And I can pull any surprise. I know, right? Uh, oh, but I think that is a is a simple concern. You know, it's not supposed to be that deep, like that means that there's some um, kind of you know but from the few interviews that i mean the ones that i had he people are making it sounding like this because he actually hinted on a few things that made it look too deep but it's not that deep though because i mean we're all very 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 busy people and i said on here on joy the last time i checked in our chats it is my my I hear my my whatsapp messages hasn't been replied and it's been like it's just you sent him a, a message and he hasn't replied yet i mean not to impeach him or anything but that's since he's saying that it makes me w go back to the the chat and be like okay so what's happening here i think i called and he missed and he called and i missed and then he sent a message and i called again i mean it's there it says a screenshot you can't just put everything out there anyhow right right i understand yeah. mm. 
Hits 103.9 FM. I'm in the studio with you one know. guard. Yeah. yeah and, man. And, 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 and guess what? I have to be clear. Uh, my phone that crashed is not a techno. That is how come you have to know that. that <laughs> is so then uh, I realized that, okay. And luckily okay. enough, too, I was setting up my, my, my techno. I was moving stuff back on there. So it just helped me. You see, so this is how if you don't buy techno phones. You just be there, no, you lose it now. I'm in trouble with Hagla, with her. You know, it's not fine. Mm. Buy a better phone. <laughs> so, you, <laughs> you, you are an ambassador for techno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah techno man. belongs to my, 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 me now, you know. Like, it belongs to I'm you now. I'm employing people. <laughs> <laughs> Employ me, I would love to work I'm there. Go, I'm, go. I'm, I'm, I'm a proud brand ambassador to the techno come on 16 I'm, I'm a member of techno family and we recently just won an award for best brand yeah so best yeah. phone brand and phone accessories i so saw pictures were you performing there or you went there to speak on listen the they put me on the spot i went there with my chairman to receive that prestigious award after right. joining the family not too long ago mm-hmm. and all uh and then this this whole you know th- that house was filled with all the top 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 tech people in ghana you know and they put me on the spot and i had to I, so you are brought life to the place, bro. Oh, yeah? It was, it, I, I felt that it was enjoyable. I realized mm-hmm. that, okay, people on this caliber also love entertainment. Like, most of them were like up, you know, okay. our big, big fans and all. So now they know that they can engage us. And that's why I put out the number over there. So, you know, from Vodafone to MTN to everybody, BIM Concert is coming, BIM Fridays is in the corner. Yeah, they know now. So we are coming, you know, yeah. Speaking mm. of beam, beam, <laughs> okay, well, so we get to beam concert just as you mentioned. It's gonna be, it's gonna be virtual in case we we we'll still be in, in in the times. Well, we are not seeing signs of uh, coronavirus vanishing anytime soon. So what's gonna happen? Are you gonna invite the crowd as large as they've always been in multiples, or are we gonna have a virtual beam <laughs> it, concert? It, it, it wouldn't be as large as they've always been. But, but I mean, beam concert we are talking about. I know, right? But I think it is on the same caliber. It, no, let me not do it like the VGMAs. I mean, if I say Calibre is of that venue and now. So my hope was waiting on how VGMA is going to be done. When they were able to go through VGMAs, I'm like, that's it. We have a, we, we have hope. Okay. We can also set it on to, on that level, you know. So that Are that is how we protocols? will. Yeah, sure. That's how we will have to execute it on that level. You know. But what will happen to Ashaman to the world? Very sad. Yeah. <laughs> As for Shaman to the world, I mean, we've not, I mean, I, we've not put out an official letter because, like, we have it, but I'm only, I'm so heartbroken, I can't even push it out there. But I'm rather promote up, um, pushing what we're going to be doing in place because this is a temporary situation. We pray that next year will be fit in place of Shaman to the world. That's why we're doing the peace health walk because okay. election time, and then we're doing the Beam Fridays. Like we've always wanted to launch. The Beam Fridays. I'll tell you more about that still, you know. And so we're doing that on the Friday, which is the 27th, at Enclave Gardens at East Legon. And then that morning, we just head to the Peace Health Walk. We're inviting all the political parties, the supporters, the fans to come in. They are regalias. Like, imagine, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we meet up at Sakasaka Park at 5 a.m. There's going to be, we've made available 5,000 nose masks. So imagine, you, oh, see, wow. you see you see, people, 5,000 people, cladded in different political party suit and beam whatever like just to show unity that we need to send a strong message across and everybody wearing face marks wow. that that is like a strong a strong sign that we are trying unism. to unism and even so we're obeying the so that is what we're going to be doing in place of the assignment to the world for this year and then next when, year when is that it's on the 27th, which is net, uh, which is Friday coming. This Today's Friday. Monday. This Friday, this Friday we do the Beam Fridays, and then Saturday. Oh, so we Saturday head on, is the Saturday is the health walk. peace walk. Yeah, right. yeah, health slash peace walk mm. in Ashaiman. We'll be gathering at um at you see we from Accra and this area. We will meet up at Sakasaka Park, and then we're in the squad at Presby Junction, and then we we'll take it all through to the main street. Where's, where's Presby Junction? Presby Junction is when you get to Ashaman Traffic Light, okay. and you take a left, you go a bit down, and there's a traffic. That's the junction. So we'll meet up with the other team from Ashaman and and its environs, and then we we'll take it over there. We're just gonna go. We're gonna go up to Ashaman Secondary, um, Tima Market Roundabout, and then take a right. You know, just do like a. The, the, the whole, roundabout, yeah, the roundabout, the whole thing, and I feel like we need to do this. This, like you're saying, I keep doing stuff, and you're wondering if how I'm doing this. But this one, we have like 
Um, Mike Berry's come on board with us and Milo. They're going to give us some snacks and all of that. And then we have the face masks and stuff and then box energy drink, you know. You know what I mean? On that, on that, on the, um, uh, for the walk. Then when we come back, we will talk about the Beam Fridays more and more mm. and why I'm doing that. And there, 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 there. Mm. yeah. <laughs> All right, comments are coming in. Someone is asking, you've been moving with Kwame Ajman Berkun lately. What well, is he part of your team? Um, big respect to Rasta. Um, Rasta and I are working on, 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 on something, so you know, they see me and him, and I got that too. Uh, somebody asked me this, and I'm like, yeah. He's, he's, he's in the family still, but it's because we're working on some project. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I see. Uh, more messages coming in. Plenty of them. Folks, I'm here with one guard. Stone boy. Buzz the coffee debut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nest Cafe 3 in 1. Wow. That's it. Yeah. Why? Yeah, man. Okay. Oh, child, I don't think I'll finish Done these that. messages today. <laughs> Oh, you want gonna say Sandy? Please tell Stone Boy to freestyle with 1K and he should give us his version of weather reports of the his sports update. Tell Stone to put down clothes. Yeah, man, put down clothes. And the Dusty Jr. says, Stone said this on Joy FM over the weekend. I'm not cool with Sarkot yet. Make nobody lie you. And Andy asked him what has triggered this issue again. I thought the issue was settled. And I didn't hear. In fact, I was out of town. Uh, and Elaine says, Andy, as the being president, how an upcoming artist can get him to listen to his talent. Nike is the talent. F. Nuete says, Andy, I think Stoneboy should have a manager to manage his other stuff so that he can concentrate on his music. Original Slice says, every brand need that team or person that will be with you through rain and shine, such as Aisha. Though I sometimes feel she goes too hard on issues I like for that. I think one guy has got that soldier. He's done great and congrats to him, GH, to the world. Clarence Bryan says, I'm grateful for inspiring us through music. Keep improving in everything you do. We got you, big man. And he does too well. Thank you. Because the trick says, Randy, please ask him. We can't wait for a shaman to the world 2020. Charlie. <laughs> okay. Stone got, not long ago, Stoneboy and um, Beam Skills to help people gain skills and start their own business. Uh, Lena is one of them who took part of the results. Is Claire now uh, located in Bachina Sprint? Oh, wow. so she started her yeah, own business. Yeah, yeah. That's super. Yeah, I was going to paint on that. Right. Young Barista says, Andy, with all due respect, allow our king's throw to rest. We want freestyles. <laughs> Your Barista. <laughs> okay. Clarence Brands are telling we the fans are expecting some virtual concert as a Christmas gift. Uh, Eagle Eye says, Andy, Stoneboy should admit Aisha does her dirty works for him because the silence seems to support her outburst and foul language she uses against people. And the Dossie Jr. comes back to say, a few days ago, Lil Wayne made it known things he would consider before endorsing a political party. Ask Stone as any political party approached him and what are the things he's also going to consider before endorsing a political party? Can you please answer that? Uh, I'll start with the last one. Okay. I don't know. They're not. Something is she shouldn't mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Good. Please, I beg again. So he's asking that. <laughs> what would ago, I consider yes. to... to uh, that's a big question. It's as if... Um, me, uh, to co what would I consider to show face? Like, yeah, I belong here. Yeah, I belong there. Yeah, that's what there. considered. I think... I, I think... I think... It, 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 we, 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 I, I don't know. I'm 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 really sorry to give this, you know, simple answer. I don't really know, but uh, we have. There should be several ways where a musician like myself can work with the government. You know, not a political party only. You know, because a political party would definitely assume. You know, their aim is to get into power, to work for the people and serve the people, and and give us a better, a better Ghana. So, I would always be available to be part of that government that would, you know, serve a better Ghana. But to, in election times, only in December, to go and show face and collect some money. Mm. Uh, to me, uh, I think it is cool if you decide to, but at this juncture, I will remain the same and seek for better opportunities to work with these top top guns but not in this manner like this right now mm. because mind you i think that when money comes to play everybody can say yes but you don't you're not there you wouldn't know who they're going to put their vote for 
So, you know. But you are going to vote. Absolutely. Will you be disappointed if the party you vote for doesn't win? Uh, my, my, you know, it's good. You have to go exercise your franchise, but it wouldn't determine on just my single vote for my party to win. So I just ask everybody to go out there and vote for the party they believe in. That is how we can win. I see. So do you get disappointed if you find out that some of your A-list artists have yeah. endorsed any political party? Please, I do not. I can't be disappointed in them. They have the sole rights to choose what they believe in, which is absolutely good by them. So to say disappointment, no. Not um, with them or... Um, no, 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 no. You know, but the thing is that I think we have a bigger calling where we can always be a support to the government to disseminate information and increase awareness, you know, so that the masses can get to understand what is going on. And I think the last year where political campaigns are, are going on may not be enough to be able to send all the information across. So for me, I believe that we should be worked with from the onset when any party is in, any government is in power so that we can shine light on the good things that they have done so that the people will know uh -huh, and that's the way we can all believe in what is going on and know the progress you know because for all you know i think that sometimes some of the citizens don't really know what's going on mm. all they are looking for is that they get monies in their bank account directly from the government before they understand that it's going well for them but meanwhile indirectly they may have done some good good things that would come into your we, we, we would help you as a person, but not direct money in your pocket for you to know. And we are supposed to loud all these things up. We are supposed to be the mouth because people listen to us definitely, you know. So, you know. Mm, I see. More comments. So, Jiwan Gana said, please ask somebody, what would he have been doing into not doing, well, your message is not too clear. I'm sure what he's asking is, if you're not doing music, what do you do? Like, away from music. I'm sure that's what he's asking. I'm guessing. Uh, Zomel says, Andy, please ask Tom Boy, the Grammy nomination is coming up tomorrow. What is his expectation? Is he hoping to get a nomination? And why, if he didn't... Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I will advise that you, take your, running, time, yeah. you take your time to write, please, if you're sending the messages so it will be clearer. But yeah, uh, are you hopeful for any nomination? Um, just like every other artist who have worked at, you know, and done what they have to do, we have done what we have to do within the time of um the the time frame that you can submit what not we have so we're hoping for the best you know hoping for the best tomorrow to see what goes on you know but either than that we're always encouraged to keep working until you hit the mark you have to just continue going hard yeah but i wish you all the best man i'm grateful and then i'm so i'm so hopeful yeah that charlie the light will be shown amen yes yes because uh looks like uh Rocky, Rocky Dauni has, yeah. has, has inched that close. Yeah, and I think Fuse as well. Or? Fuse. Yeah, okay, yeah, but yeah. Fuse and, and, and the producer, uh, Kill Beats. Kill Beats, yeah. I think by virtue of um, um, El, El, Ed, Ed, Ed Sheeran, yes. but um, Rocky Dauni, boss man, he got the nomination in yeah, the reggae category. Close. And I also have my certificate by involving in um, Morgan Heritage. So, you know. So we are always lurking around somehow. That shows that we are putting in the best of works that we can. Most of us are doing this without any major, you know, without any major backing, any major label backing, which makes it sometimes very smooth for a lot of things to happen to people. You understand? And on this note, I think that I'll commend, you know, the EC. I'm not going to even lie. I think yesterday I was talking about it with my wife uh, when... um. One of our members, you know, from, from 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 the legal team sent us a link, and I'm like, ah, we open it and it's a register of everybody, and I'm like, I'm going to look through, and I saw my name <laughs> in there, and I saw Shatter's name. I saw when I saw Shatter's age, I'm like, hey, <laughs> you see, you know, I'm like, yeah, big up. I mean, I was looking at, I mean, I'm being petty. I was looking at the ages. I'm like, okay, so I saw everybody. I'm like, ah, so I asked, like, is this information out for the masses? Mm. They said, yeah, yeah, you can access it. I'm like, what? So this means that 
or you know ah is it the register for is it uh, the whole ghana or musicians the whole ghana everybody did it ah, so, so you go look out for your so you say for check yourself <laughs> you go see say you did there. if only you registered to vote you go see up i like and a, trust me it blew my mind i lied, it blew, I, I it lied blew about my, my age. mind then i lied about my age yes and that's why i posted a thing on my snap like i know some musicians are like about let's pray for them <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but yeah, on the, that's on the lighter side. Yeah, but right. it's true, though. I this blew my mind, and I've been meaning to say this. You feel me? It blew mm. my mind. I'm like, so this means the EC is doing a very great job, and mm. then this elections is definitely going to be transparent because if the voter register, uh, the voters register has like 50 people in there, right? We can be able, to, we can know, mm, we, mm, we can, mm. we can be able to tell. So big mm. respect, you know, um, to the EC and especially on this corona vibe and how we've been able to handle it you know ghana has been a judge as one of the you know best countries in africa to have dealt with it in that manner mm. you know and that we're really you know we have to give thumbs up you know because see the numbers are increasing again mm. and god knows man it's not easy when you get to hear some of the information from you know the inside you see how dangerous this is you know over the time i've had a few people who got sick and we have to visit you know, sometimes we, 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 we see and know our guns. So I remember. I'll, I'll beg that people so, take it very seriously. Sometime I was talking to you on, on the phone and you said, hey, uh -huh. Brandy, you know, sometimes you feel the symptoms and you're like, hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, somebody posted and I could relate. He said, I didn't know, oh, wow, well, not symptoms, but what passes? Chaleums. It was a. Maybe I sound up and also I went to be in deep breakfast. Oh, wow, no, you're my chum. Now you're saying, Brandy, about that. <laughs> but w what have you been doing to to keep yourself fit though yeah i do press ups a lot like and press ups yeah that's what i've been doing and drinking a lot of water too okay helps you know and you see uh, like i go on the road a lot doing this big boss activation stuff okay and i definitely use the opportunity to tell them like it's as if you know let's be honest we are breaking the rules and mending mm -hmm. it somehow mm -hmm. just because life has to still go on but right. we we i don't forget to put in the message of as trying to you know you know adhere to the fact mm. because the numbers are increasing again and uh, yeah mm. 99 world says andy please what uh okay uh oj wangana says ah why is tomboy mm. sounding like ponobium this morning <laughs> yo how <laughs> i don't know big up to ponobium anyway you know mm. uh at nipples hey, by you should your name me the uh, gun is nipples Okay, he says, good day, Andy. Please ask Stone, what's his relationship with Yapono? Okay, because when he had this issue with Angel Town, Yapono made some tweets about him always pulling a gun. Is that true? Yeah, I saw that as well. But you see, the thing is, that I can't blame somebody who is not uh, well informed. And when an information comes and you're not well informed, I think you have to be careful to know what you say if you, if you hold a public opinion so that it doesn't tell what your premeditation is already. You know, and in these times, I've had a lot of that. And I've only had a few people who would want to know or see that some people that probably I put a lot of expectations on some people to know better and take it easy before they judge. I think I, I mean, I was on the phone with him one time. I'm like, bro, when I saw that, I'm like, ah, bro, you know, sometimes you just have to sometimes com confirm before you because you hold opinion. If you didn't hold an opinion as a big artist, I wouldn't bother because, you know, but when you do that, pay. Maybe my fans or other people who also love me dearly and wouldn't hesitate to think twice about anything would also catch a certain feeling. And I know that you and I are good. So, I mean, that was just it. And we spoke on the phone and he, he was cool. I think he took down a certain post and, and that's it. Pono and I have always been cool. Like I always say one thing, bro. You see me, eh? I'm cool with myself, you know. So that's what actually really, really matters. And the end will always justify the means if you're really cool with somebody or not. You know, it's not what you always say or what you always try to go to make it look like you're cool with the person it lies in your heart you know mm. all right so uh the plenty 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 tweets man and plenty messages on facebook well i i, I expected nothing but but this i've been scrolling and scrolling and scrolling but charlie Hmm. We have to read some of some good ones are in there uh oh of course i had to skip some of them as well because um uh, <laughs> Okay, John Diamond Wager says, I tell one guy to wish me happy birthday. Beam to the world. Okay, so John uh, Diamond, today's your birthday, huh? Okay. John, he say wish him happy birthday. Diamond? Yeah, man. Sorry, um, the Diamond Diamond? 
John Diamond. No, not the lady. This uh, is John. <laughs> yeah. This is John Diamond, not yeah. Diamond Diamond. Yeah, yeah. Big ups to John Diamond, you know. Happy birthday to you. More life, you know, and prosperity. Mm. I pray. I'm what John Lewis says. My question for him is, we want yeah. another banger for this Christmas. Yo, it's one guy. Mampo needs you to visit us one day. At Marco Mati says, is yes. he really bigger than Sarkodie? Is he trying to claim the GOAT title, which all of us know is Sarkodie? King Jagos says, please ask Stoneboy to forget whatever has happened between him and Sarkos. We need them for a better Ghana. And Mekokofi Gwedema says, why is he so... Ch okay. Uh, King Jagos says, Randy, please, all we need is a wicked banger from King Sark and himself. Brian Lomjie says, when is he coming to Oboase? Yeah. Eric Duncan says, go for that, Andy. I don't have any question for the dancer God, only a piece of advice as a friend a fan and a younger brother. He should stop being too emotional and learn to control his heart, though it's hard to do. Thank you. Mauji Parish Guy Kwabla says, Good morning, Andy. Ask one guy that when will he come down to place the show? I'm always dreaming of Atan Loga and Alakpe. Your, 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 your town. Yeah, that's my town. Alakpe and Angloga is your my home. town, bro. And you see, this is why we have to go to the Beam Fridays. That is the reason why mm. over the years we've been planning to put up an initiative that will have me visit every nook and cranny of Ghana, you know, mm. which which we're finally finding ways because this has been in the plans. Corona has slowed down a lot of things, but we still, like you say, like you said, I'm pushing to make sure we still continue to work. So that is the reason why we have been Fridays and we're launching it immediately. And since we couldn't do a shaman to the world, we decided to add it to the Friday and Saturday so that, you know, cause then following week would be election week and there's going to be, it's going to be tight, you know? So Friday, we're going to launch the beam Fridays and that's the Accra edition. You know what I mean? And it's not going to happen in Accra again or not anytime soon. Mm. Once that hits the road, everywhere in Ghana must find me come once in a month or every other month. You know what I mean? But once we have the Beam Fridays, we know we can run with it. So we'll visit from Angola to Alak Blair to just, just watch out. We'll just come and be like, yeah, it's Beam Fridays. We're here with you guys. And I need to go a bit deeper. Um pardon me about what's going to go on that day and how it is it, it, fixed. But the primary idea is because we need to be able to touch base with all these fans and all these places. Because I always do get that message. Like, when I come into Oboase, when I come into Techiman, when I come into Boko, when I come into Konongo, I know there's a that like people would want to see you in person. So why don't we put this out there for them? So the BIM Fridays has come to solve this problem, mm -hmm. you know? So you guys will be seeing me very close to you guys. We'll be chilling. We'll be chatting. We'll be vibing. It's going to be acoustic session, karaoke sessions. Okay. Somebody also asked how they can be seen. You're going to have the opportunity to bless the mic and show us what you have. Oh, really? Yeah. And you're doing this this edition with Johnny Walker, the sponsors, Techno Mobile, Big Boss Energy Drink, Multi-Choice Ghana. And there are prices to be won. Platinum Furniture. We're doing this at Enclave Gardens. So we have like a garden vibe and a garden feel. This is going to be fun. We'll be playing PS games. People will be winning some some there will be the um, yeah, baby, baby, souvenirs. Deep, souvenirs like it's just like let's catch up let's vibe let's mm -hmm. connect mm -hmm. you know so you guys can get closer to the um and there's like tables as well for the big boys you know this is supposed to cater for the people in the corporates it's not every time that we can put together shows you know like to have everybody come out some people would just want to come out to sit at the table mm -hmm. and vibe so there are packages as well for them when they get there you know, we have the VIP tickets and we have the regular. It's it's very, very affordable. I okay. just don't want to mention. So when you're coming, make sure you have some cash. Wait, which day is that? It's Friday, it's Friday, the 27th. And then in the morning, once that it's is It's going to be a very busy day for you. It's a weekend. It's a busy weekend. So after the Friday, the next morning is a walk. A walk. Okay. You know, so I mm -hmm. think, you see, the assignment to, to the world is a huge one. So if it's not going to be happening this year, I believe that, you know, a two-day vibe, it's, it doesn't even qualify, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what man. I mean? So mm. that's how come we packed it to make it really tight like that. So mm. limited tickets, I, um, some of the packages are sold out already, you know, because it's for a limited number of persons due to the corona stuff as well. Right. So, you know, we just can't put out the number over there. But tables are being sold already and stuff. So come out there. If you're a big fan and a big supporter, big music lover of Stoneboy, come out there. Let's have some vibe. A lot of prizes to be won games to be played acoustic sessions i'm gonna close it with you know like we're gonna interact and vibe and this is the reason why so boasi cape coast konongo watch out once we have life we're gonna to be touching base right you know yeah. it's fm nyamichel dorinda says no question for my side but little advice you should talk to aisha modi 
because she's talking too much. I hope she doesn't bring problems to him later. Yeah, yeah, one got to the world. Uh, Jackson Lavi says, when is Stoneboy retiring from music life? He should go for pension. <laughs> mm. This boy is just starting, man. He's just mm. starting. Flesha Bill says, Andy, please, good morning. Tell well, Stoneboy that uh, he should be careful of him. I won't show me there. Oh, but Nana Govind says, uh, okay, Aisha also answers, says, Randy, please tell him to forget whatever happened between him and Samini. And they should be like the olden days, Samini and Stoneboy. I've loved Stoneboy for a long time. But never seen him before. He should keep the fire burning me. What is the problem with you and Samini? Um, you see, we all saw what um, happened on social media when he called me out, you know, and then um, I granted an interview prior to that. And then I made point. I was asked what I think about the whole video. First and foremost, um, it, was, it was a shock to me how you know, and the things he addressed, because I believe that he was ill-informed on certain things and the way he went about it. But prior to that, me and him have been in contact very often. I think even two days before the video, we were in contact. So it took me a back and a half. If there was anything, I believe that we could have still spoken about it to get the clearance properly. So when it came in the light, in the light already, there was, a, there was very little we, could, we all could do about it. I took it the way I took it. When I was asked by Sean B about the whole uh -huh. thing, I was honest about it. I'm like, it's confusing. I'm actually confused. These are three key words I use. I'm actually confused about the fact that certain pronouncements are being made like that because he, I believe he knew way better as a senior brother, as a godfather. And then, as I was using the word confused, I said, I think some of the vibes when he said from here to there, because he did more than one video, contradicts. Okay. So if you took it well, you could, you, this, and the third one, I'm like, this is somebody that I've always will remain loyal to, you know, mm. and I've gone the length and breadth, you know, to defend. And therefore, if it's coming out to be this way, then um, this is somebody I've given credit to, even when it's not needed. Mm. So these are the three keywords that I used. And that's it. Never said nothing about that again. Until the clash, and that remains on the stage. As for that, everybody knows it was a clash vibe. So when Shata was like, he pulled out a stunt, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. I also gave a certain reply. And that was strictly for the stunt. That does happen. You can ask anybody who knows about clash because we made it, we made the world aware we're going for a clash. And punchlines could come out there. Everything stays and remains. What, what did Shata say? I think he said... Um, Unfortunately, I wasn't there. I think I yeah, was Yeah, yeah. He made a certain pronouncement and I also countered him by saying if it was not for sellout, like a, like a certain godfather wouldn't be your friend. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean... That's so, just, he said, what, you, you were a sellout? No, no, no. He made a certain statement like that. But I'm being honest with the things that I think... These are the things that I... That's the one on stage, I think, is, is on stage. Mm. It's, it's, that's where it, end, it right. ends, you know. Mm. And... um. Any inconvenience caused by that, definitely, I regret. But then it's, it's, it's on state. Mm. Yeah, it was vibe to vibe. I mean, shout out, I would say, hey, cripple, from the beginning. We all knew what we were going into. <laughs> it's a vibe. It's a vibe. And I wasn't even... Was it planned? I, I heard that you also mentioned, when he came here, unfortunately, I, I couldn't ask him. I think I, it, yeah. it escaped me. Um, that you, you, you guys had a plan. And when you got there, later on, you got emotional about it. Oh, no. That's what he's saying. How can you be saying somebody else got emotional? I mean, you are not in me. You know, <laughs> I took my job serious. I went on stage and I delivered. So I think that part is, he's just vibing and shatter, definitely. He always says what he thinks he knows about people. So that, you know, that's what he thinks. But and was there a plan like he was, like, was going to call you a that, cripple? No, no, there was no. There was a plan to execute uh, um, the show. Right. And however it went, that is a class. Right. You don't expect somebody to come and say, my love, my baby. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Come hit harder. You just come, come, come hit harder. Kill. So I never actually felt any way at all. I remember in the video, if you watch, when he hit, he hit at a certain point on, uh, on one of his instrumental. Then I tell my DJ to continue the same instrumental because this is a, clash. a clash. It yeah, is I not a I problem. It. it is a clash. So I even have to refer, and then I heard him in the mic. You can go back to the video because I took time to watch that. And then he said, yes, it is a class. So at the point, I felt like he would have felt that, I felt like when he threw that punch, it was like, ah, off the bar. Okay. But I had to chip in on the vibe that, yo, keep that same instrumentation. It's a clash. There's nothing too deep about that because we actually planned 
to go and do a clash. And in a clash, everybody knows punchline goes, punchline goes. There's no need to get emotional about it. But I think afterwards, we all got very busy. We spoke once and twice and a few, and that's it. And then the next thing is to hear him on radio. I mean, the way he put it when I heard one of the interviews, it was not that deep. He's just trying to talk about, I say, I say in a teasing form. Right. So it's not too deep for, and I also went on Twitter and said, hey, Shata, you know, say we'll be cool, right, right, right. It's not, I, I believe there's no, it's not that deep when Shatter says I don't pick his call. And it's not that deep when I say it the last time because it's the truth. But this is not a biggie. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not supposed to be any wahala. And I made it clear that Shatter and I are not like bread and butter yet. Okay. Yet. You know, that yet, you <laughs> know. But we're cool. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, Which is the reality. You know? Right. Okay. Uh, well, so, uh, no, wait, wait. Uh, please. Uh, um, so, you, when, when people say stuff about you on social media i know you are very vibrant you're i mean sometimes i put out stuff and you are quick to to either like yeah, man. Or, or chip in a comment and yeah. i respect you so much for that i mean it's i mean so i i, I enjoy what you, but some of the things people put out will be it's derogatory yeah or over the bar or below the belt yeah. how do you deal with that um like some of the comments you're reading some people are advising me big up you know and I take, I take the ones I can relate to and the ones I can't relate, I know they don't know any better right. than the situation that I am in. You know, they can only talk from where they stand. So I wouldn't take it too deep. Sometimes you're tempted to answer some people, but you realize that, hey, it wouldn't do no good. Just take it easy till when the truth comes out, like, you know, some of the things he's emotionized. Da, 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 da. It's easy to just say what you think about somebody. You know what I mean? Which is cool because social media is open to every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Do you respond to them? No, no, no. I don't really respond to them. No, 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 no. I, wow. I right. try not to because then I try not to. Except, you see, except it's like a post, some of the ones that need to be engaged. And most of the ones that I do is those that speak like close to the truth. Then I take time to say big up for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. But as for those that veer away from the fact... You're not going to even start it with them. You just <laughs> right, leave them there. Sometimes, most of them get to know the reality later. But we are in a system where we have sects and cults, so to say, mm. where people are diehard fans of... They don't belong to your... Here and there. So whatever you say, whatever you don't, you, you might not need to explain yourself to somebody who dearly loves you. Right. You know, right. so... Do you know this man right here? This man in suit? Um, I'm sorry, but... Uh, okay. This 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 the this Don D right here. Yeah, man. Don D is is the uh, CEO of Ghana Music Awards USA. Oh, Don D. <laughs> Don D, big up yourself, Don. Don. Charlie, come and sit down. <laughs> wow. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. I I, I like the Louis face mask. Yeah, man, yeah, man. More money. Yeah, but Jeffrey did say. Ah, Melissa, you like any of I'm inviting you to Beam Fridays, please. We need the likes of Don D to come in. Just vibe and check what I go on. You hear me? Big up. Don, welcome. Welcome to Ghana. <laughs> Thanks, boss. Finally, you're here. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> Finally. Oh, no. So, what brings you here this morning? <laughs> All right. So, um, like you are aware, um, we had uh, the Ghana Music Awards USA mm. just recently, of which he gave some wild endorsement and other stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, um, the awards were mentioned and uh, he happened to win two of the awards and uh Stone oh, I'm here Stone today to surprise win. him. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this award, yeah. Yeah man. Yeah man. Uh, let's see let's see the plaques. Uh let's yeah. see it. It can't be done anywhere else. Yeah. Only <laughs> on hit, right? Yes sir. <laughs> yes sir. Listen, so, in case we just tuned the Tia Tia Robert. Tia Robert, you know? yes. <laughs> the rubber has just been torn. Wow. Yeah. So um Let me see that which award is this? Reggae dance all song of the year. Yeah. Wow. wow. <laughs> I like it. This wow. beautiful. I had no idea, man. I just endorsed it. I think I like how they presented the nomination. Plot. Right. Yeah. Um, Rob actually visited me and brought it to me, and I was honest about Rob, Rob the, definitions. Rob definition. No, right. no, Rob photography. Okay, Rob. Okay. You know, because he worked with the team at the time. Right. He called me several times to try to get the time, and then I love the presentation. It almost feels like an award that I was honest about. Cause me, I'm always honest. I try to be honest. Mm -hmm. You know. Though we're all not perfect, but I really, really try to be closer to the truth. You know? Right. Yeah. I mean, um, that's one of the reasons why you feel you are one of the realists. And uh, once you are real, you get real stuff. You understand? And uh, Yeah, we're trying to, you know, likes of him are those who are projecting 
the Ghana music to the world, you understand? And uh, I think America now believes he's the guy. So, I mean, we don't believe in um, giving awards just because we have to. We give it to those who deserve them, right. you understand? And uh, Stone Boy, this is the reggae dance song of the year. And uh, Thank you very much. I heard it comes with five thousand dollars. Yeah, and a trip. And a trip. Don't, don't tell him about it. <laughs> and uh, what a trip. And a trip. Okay. Wow. Yeah, Thank you so much. On behalf of the, uh, you know. Oh, hold on. Hold, hold on. on. There's hold one on. more. On. Uh, you oh, you yeah. started giving your acceptance speech already. Yeah. <laughs> really? Wow. And wow. then this is the reggae dancer artist mm. of the year. The reggae wow. that's the biggest. In yeah, this category is always bringing trouble. <laughs> One hundred three point nine. So Stone, yes. Thank you very this much. I'm really show. grateful. Thanks for the time and the surprise. I was not expecting this. Nobody should think this was planned. It wasn't. No, 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 no. You know about this. Okay, so yesterday you know. he called me in the evening. <laughs> yeah. And I gave him time. All right. That Charlie, uh, I, I think he Stone, Stone will be surprised. Time, yeah. Because yeah. I didn't even know he was in town. Yeah. It was Kofi Adumani that called me in the evening. Yeah. And said, Charlie, and they have yeah. a surprise for you. Yeah. And boom. I mean, uh, like we always say, awards have brought troubles here and there and joy here and there. But I think that the ultimate purpose is to um, throw light on the good works, uh, you know, that, that musicians and creatives are doing. And I would also use this standpoint to say that it's not a competition. For me, before I started winning any of my big awards, I've always remained uh, on, the opinion, on the notion that once you get nominated, that means you're recognized. And since it's not your, your, only you in that category, anybody who wins that also deserves yes. to mm -hmm. pick up that mm -hmm. award. But mm -hmm. primarily, once you're a nominee, that shows you. That's why even if you're a Grammy nominee, you don't wipe that out of your name. Of they course. come as a Grammy nominee. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't necessarily have to be a winner because to get into the nomination is a big deal. Mm -hmm. And on the Ghana platform, I feel like one of my concerns is that uh, people do normally feel that uh, these awards are being used to extort money from their fan bases. Mm -hmm. And I also feel that as well. I mean, sometimes I'll be like, okay, um, vote here and there, vote here and there, and people's monies are going in, our fans' monies are going in, our monies are going in too. And I would want to ask a question. How do you intend to turn around, you know, I know it's not, it's not, it's not a charity organization, you know, a lot goes into it, but mm -hmm. how do you intend to make uh, it worthwhile for, for us to continue to tell our fans that it's worth a penny, especially in these hard times, you know, because those who vote for us is their hard earned money. Even us, we vote for ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, because as you, mm -hmm. you know, how do you intend to get this to, you know, mean, mean that, yeah, my money is, you know, apart from giving us a plaque to hold? Yeah. Okay. So um, the, the focus is more on the, um, the artist. That's our focus is the, on the artist. So if your fan base is really um, putting out something, so the board and academy also votes. Mm. The vote is not only coming from. Some people only do 100% test and voting, right? Mm -hmm. But we do both social media, the board and academy, and then um, the general public, right. which is the testing. So based on whatever comes in, we wanted to put a recording deal for um, whoever wins the artist of the year right. and you know, some other categories, recording deal and a video, you know, whatever. But what happened was because of COVID, you understand? Right. So COVID, right. so we had to, you know, put some things up. But next year, mm. the plan is that whoever wins what? The ultimate. Yeah, we have a big surprise for the person. I can't say it here. All right. I can't say it here. It's right. a big surprise. So, right. you know, when your people vote, you, the artist, will be taken care of. But um, I mean, I would wish also that you incorporate something that will be for the fans as well. Oh, oh yeah. So, so that, what happened, you know, yeah. I'm not cutting it off. Mm. Um, we had a plan where mm. we were going to give a ticket, a free ticket for... To the highest tester, yeah? The, the highest tester to the event. That was number one. And then number two, we, were also, we also had mobile phones by KTA Mobile. They sponsored us and we had about, I think, 10 phones for the first 10 higher testers. Right, right. That was the plan. Yeah. I, see. That's super I know this is my interview, but I've always <laughs> meant to ask yeah. a question. Do you guys make money off of awards? Um, is it true that you make money off on the heads of the creatives organizing awards? Um, <clears throat> this being our first edition, I can't say much because I mean, we had a big loss for the first time. Well, well, you can pardon him because well, this is <laughs> yeah, the very first this, edition. This is our first edition. If we had done it over and over. Over then, then I can say something. I'm telling way. you, we made a, 
he which lost. Yeah, but this is a start, so you definitely have to sacrifice. You know, oh, like yes. like so the Beam Fridays. Yeah. You know, like a lot is going into it, and I'm like, it's cool yes. because we really want to stand our ground, so we can be able to spread through Ghana and the world. Yes. So you should expect Beam Fridays America. That will be also, you know, crazy. That nice. Yeah, yeah that, nice. that's the whole idea of the Beam Fridays. Yeah. Trust me. All right. Once All right. it launches, it's not going to come back to our cry yet. Mm. Sure. Every other month, right. anytime we're hitting mm. the streets, we're doing Beam. Con we can do Beam Fridays Canada. Imagine right. when you're in Canada sometime and then it's Beam Fridays, wow, chilling, wow. Just come interaction. And have you have a music to launch, you have some vibes, you know. I think it's yes. a great idea if you, you know, and don't copy the idea soon. Let me do it like some <laughs> five times. I mean, yeah, don't you be, thank you very yeah. much for coming. Oh, not to you, I mean, before, no, 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 no. before somebody that, else comes and say, something, something, Sunday, take that, <laughs> let me do like one year first, eh? And hit. Don't Charlie, thank you. Thank <laughs> you right, very sir, much Charlie. for coming, man. I'm so grateful for that. Don't God bless you. We'll be right back. When we come back, we'll touch on some other issues. Still here with Stoneboy and Mr. Logic will also come in. We'll be right back. Lag back, man. Yes, please. Like Bagba. What's yeah. the meaning? Alive. Alive. Yeah, like Bagba. Like Bagba. Like Bagba. Like 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 like, yeah. Okay. Like I'm alive. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, do you? Okay. So, do you listen to your songs all the time? And not all the time. Not all. Because I also gather inspiration from other other artists as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, like like your old records, you don't listen to your some of them. Um, not as often as I would listen to. The current things that I'm. Yeah, if you talk part one, you hear me? <laughs> your, your part one is not good. <laughs> yeah, so today stay, you see Stone Boy, you won't you shove me off. Stay neutral, stay neutral. Better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stone Boy. What's my name? hear what you talk? Oh, your part one is not good. Thank you. <laughs> don't mind him, don't mind him. This, this has been your last time you're coming on here. It'd be, like, it be like you're tall, but somebody <laughs> tall past you, then they say you'll be short. <laughs> <laughs> we are there. Also, Krausa. Yeah, also Krausa. Yeah, yeah, man. Can I say something? Yeah, you can say something. Well, go on, Mijay. Oh, big up. Bless it, bless it every time. Andy, you know, uh, me, I always say that Stone and Shatter, these are the greatest we've got now in Ghana. We need to acknowledge. You see, music goes worldwide when it communicates. Mm -hmm. Even though language is not a barrier, gravitation is, is, is key when people can also relate. You understand? And I know that few artists would not understand some of these uh, facts, but then you agree with me that as of now, you know, worldwide, dancehall and reggae, Afrobeat is on the rise, and Stone and Shatter are the frontliners. You see, so sometimes when I, when I hear a little misunderstanding between the two of them, I know that it's solvable. It's not, it's not something that, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll have heads rolling. You get me? It's solvable. So, of course, it's just the love. And I'm touching on the part where you asked about his, his tweet with Shatter. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's normal that as humans, of course, you, you, everybody's got feelings. You mm. know, so if you're not happy about something, you have the right to say it. But then I'm not happy how people are trying to make it look as if... Yeah, you know, uh, 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 stone and shatter should remain enemies. You understand that? That I don't. I don't agree. Mm -hmm. And you, and you understand me? Mm -hmm. I don't agree because these two brands are the reason why dancehall and reggae is still in the mainstream. Else, people wouldn't even mention dancehall and reggae. Most people in the mainstream they they will talk about dancehall and reggae today because they know that regardless of how they try to fight it, stone and shatter will keep it running. So some of us, our, our backings is always with them. Because if, if the journal goes down, people go out of business. So let's try to understand that there are levels and there are blessings amongst blessings. You get me? We've got so many musicians in Ghana, but not everybody will be a superstar. I mean, we've got stars, but not everybody is a super. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if only few will be superstars. And we need to understand that part. Now, the, the second one I, I want to touch, even though you haven't asked him, but it's online. We've seen it. He went to other interviews and he said it mm. concerning the the SAC police uh, staff, mm. which when this issue came out, we all we, I mean we said a whole lot about it. I think my displeasure is with the fact that you no know, Stone said SAC sent a police for for his arrest. That, what, was that, that the case? 
That's that's what we, we heard. No, no, he's here. I mean, <laughs> um, I mean, I mean we, are, we are not conjecturing. I mean, once yeah, he's yeah, here, he's here. But of let, course, let him let him clear it because <laughs> no. But the, it's, it, the court is all over. Mm. So is that what you said, please? Okay, it looks like you was absent. No, I'm I'm there. Like right. um, Logi, you said if um, I was called by yeah, he was called by police. So okay, so it's, it's, to it's, have reported it was, it was immediately. It was a police thing. So let me continue my submission. Rasta. I think I think it's very <laughs> it's very unfortunate. Andy, I think it's very unfortunate that this matter couldn't couldn't be handled between brothers. Mm. Yeah, seriously, you know, it's it's sad because. When, when someone is invited to the police station and it's not it's not a matter of uh, theft or murder or anything it's it is just social it can be solved so then you could have solved it at home because if you go to the police station the person has not murdered he has not killed so it is still arbitration why couldn't you dealt with it between yourselves because as it is now you can say that if i should say something how i feel about the whole situation People on the other side will say, see logic, see he's speaking against us. But then there is a case that you need to be just about. And the only justice I can give is it, it wasn't right. And it's like me and you have an issue and then you know we can, we can solve it out. And then you, before I know you have reported me to police and they are calling me to come and report. I mean, Andy, me and you, even if it's fighting over girls, me and you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you. no way to. <laughs> <laughs> me and you, me and you, man. No, listen. As I sit here now, oh, hey, as I sit here now, yeah. I'm not looking at your face. Yes, yes, yes. Do you know which part of your body I'm looking at? <laughs> no, wait, oh, wait. Where, where are you looking at? Stone boy, okay. I want you to look at Mr. Okay, where you sit, you may not see. I can move to this. And I'm yeah. wearing, I'm, no, because of my, because of my lens, no, because of my lens. No, that's a Versace, bro. You don't yeah, say yeah, lens. Yeah. Yeah. When you say lens, it's like <laughs> Like Versace, ordinary. <laughs> no, but yes. You're looking through your Versace because, shape. Yeah. Well, okay, but it's, it's. Is medicated so yeah um i'm looking at mr logic yes and the chains around his neck <laughs> do you know what i see what do you see woman hair woman what hair, hair. yes no because i think your lenses can zoom in, in <laughs> yes i'm zooming only you they see him <laughs> only you they what see woman hair, hair? No, you know what woman hair yes. I, oh come no, on i see yes. it as well. i see it as well but that couldn't be a oh woman no it's my hair, hair. Oh, it's my hair, hey, hair. Hey, hair. <laughs> listen look no no i mean look at this what is this? No, what is that? Okay, hold on. Hey, okay. don't, don't touch no, it. I, corona. No, I just want to text. Forensic. Forensic. Yeah, forensic. Yeah, yeah. Listen to what is it? Forensic. forensic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's so. Gloves, so seriously, oh. seriously, seriously, I bet that part, I, that part, I really lost it. Mm. I really, the stories that, the report we got from the, 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 the spot. It's unfortunate that after all the back and forth, you know, there's a calm. So why couldn't you calmly solve this issue that's the only part that hurts me that you know as industry people we should always find amicable ways of dealing with our differences charlie oh charlie what's up oh, charlie, oh, charlie i'm sorry charlie look, they slide you understand charlie police there yeah, even police stations so when you carry somebody go police the police themselves they are not happy that you are coming there unless it's a murder or it's a it's mm -hmm. a theft they, they are mm -hmm. not happy when you can solve they say go to court so then you could have gone to court because when police come and arrest somebody it's more like what what's the perception is it in a way to annihilate or it's like to, to show, say, I'll go fish show you something. That side, I'm not with it. And I want to be very frantic, uh, emphatic on it because the last time when we were speaking about SAC, you know, I was here, I told Charlie how I even delve into SAC songs and we even mm -hmm. replay. Mm -hmm. People will say that you are a hater. This is, this is the problem. So if I'm not strong, I won't be able to talk about this issue. Because they will say, oh, see, logic is there. Because Tony, they, they, they talk. If they talk against, I'm not speaking against SAC. I'm speaking against the issue. I've spoken well about him. And I've spoken so great about him. But this issue there, and regardless of the of the other sides, the police side, you know, try. Okay, hold on. So listen, um, I've never I haven't met with Stone Boy since this whole um, In a while, fracker. Yes. Mm. Now, Stone Boy. Yep. I want you from, from the depth of your heart, mm. I, I know you to be very honest. And you've you've stated it here. Hey, my honesty sometimes is too is too honest. <laughs> Your honesty itself is too it's honest. It's too honest for the type of mindset that we are all dealing with. Mm. In, in you know sometimes you know. I, I want you to, especially when this issue is an issue of 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 of, of here and there, mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. you know there are farm base involved and here and there, but you know what really happened. Um, I wouldn't waste time to go into the whole story. But I think enough has been said, enough have been guarded by media personnel. And Tommy, I, I've not heard you yet. 
for, for yeah, you. Yeah, oh, that's what I'm saying. And enough has been said, enough has been gathered by media personnel who sought to deep dig into the matter. My disappointment was um, immediately, look, that week, if I wasn't a strong person, my family and everybody would have been like, oh, because these are gun allegations leveled at you, against you. These are, and it was heavy on the media. This is you having assaulted somebody only to take off, only to know that it wasn't no assault. You know, so it was, it was, for me, I'm, I'm in, a, and people will say, yeah, but why did you go and slap? Come on, man, I didn't assault anybody, bro. Did you pull a gun? Which is, which is the most awkward of it. And at the police station, a witness statement by interrogation was given in account of a gun. And by the CID, they said, did you see? Or oh, you're just coming to say what you think you're saying. And he said, no, no, I didn't see. You see, so this tells me that it's deeper than that because who, that eyewitness who is going to put in that case is going to build more case on top of the complainant's case who must definitely be coming from the complainant's side. So me, all I can say is that I went through a lot that time, but it's taught me a lot. I've seen a lot. You know, and henceforth, I can only be very, very careful about how I deal with our fellow brothers and sisters in the industry. That's so what is, I've got. Is, is the case yeah. still in, 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 is, is it still with the police? Uh, no, it's been calmly withdrawn. Uh, big respect to Angel, who I'm still very cool with. Oh, really? That's nice. I believe so, because, I mean, we don't talk every day, interact every day, but... Me, once I follow you and once I, I, I watch your, your snaps, then you should know that we are on there. But I think Angel and I are cool because if there was any case at all, it was an altercation between him and I. And unfortunately, um, there was a notion that I hit his eye or I broke his eye. But God being so good, I, his eye didn't go blind, whatever. And there were no cuts as well, as well and all. So Did you, and, see, and did his, you see a picture of him with, with a... With a a plaster yes I, I saw that after a few days after you know and and I mean that's what I'm saying I'm grateful that it didn't go worse because two three days after he was chilling and his school you know um, if there were any internal bleedings I think we would have seen it now the eye is a very delicate area mm. so none of those so I'm grateful that him and I are cool you know and that's where I think I'll rest this case. But henceforth, we are all going to know how to move so that we don't get disrespected in a manner where we feel like we can't take it. We just take ourselves away from. So, so this altercation was because you felt disrespected? Highly. Because they kept you waiting? Uh, not only waiting, but the, as for the wait, we all do wait for, I mean, we go support each other and the times and all, you know, we wait. Um, but the communication was, I think, was very... There were communication laps in there which triggered everything. I got there very early as one as the A-list artist that I believe I am. Mm. I got there very early. You know, the regular would have been you come late because you shoot. <laughs> but I knew it was a recorded event as he told me because he and I have been in contact way often before the event. Okay. So I managed to get there as early. Then I moved to wait at the conference um, on the park for a very long time. And then they informed us to come backstage now into the inner perimeter to perform. And then when we got there, <clears throat> we realized that we came very early and there was a recording, you know, and we we're promised that once it's set up, we'll just come and do ours and forward. But we realized it wasn't the matter until when who they sent to come and deliver the information to us, you know, I was laid back in my seat, right? And he was talking to Chief and he was like, Chief asked him, but why we come with that? Uh, you know, say your man, you know, you feel too well. You just come from here, there, there, there. He said, oh, it be your people themselves where they change their mind. So at that point, I was well hit. That was so what I, the, the messenger what the said. messenger said. So I stood up my seat because he didn't see me in there. Then I said, ah, so what do you mean? So what make I do now? After waiting, so make I go home or make up what? Like, it's just too bare for me to take. Mm -hmm. Like, tell me, oh. This that about if you come in, it's bare. If your people, I quote, if your people themselves they change their mind, so what? You know what I mean. And then 
I think when he went backstage, he went to communicate because I I to, I said, hey, bro, about to because he didn't know I was in there. Mm. I was like, ah, but I be so you go talk to them because I mean I've been waiting for a very long time. So when he went back there into the inner backstage, I think he went to communicate a different story over there that I came with talks and I'm beating people and I'm fighting in the backstage. You know, mm. fortunately enough, when he was going, I think chief or a member of ours, because we rolled in a crew, we were, we were too many. You know, a member of ours followed them, followed him backstage. And by the time they got there, he took the lead. So I think the info had spread already that Stone is here and yeah, he's misbehaving <laughs> because he's waited. And because when he got here, Shatter was the one leaving to go and perform. Meanwhile, I'd eyed Shatter, he eyed me and we gave thumbs up. And by the time, you know, and he went to do his thing. So that was the info. So when one of my persons came back to, to the car, he said, ah, but you, you know what they, they thought for the back there, said, like, you go, go home. I said, no, I know we'll go home. I have to speak to somebody. Were you angry? And then Aisha also followed back there to go because it was all sort of chaos. Mm. And then she came back and said, Charlie, yanko, yanko. And I said, oh, no, Aisha. No, let's wait. Let's speak. Only to see Angel coming out now because to come and explain the vibes to me. But the way me and Angel, they... I believe that we were cool. So I was bursting out to him. Like, yo, bro, but why go do that now, you know? I was bursting out to Angel because me and Angel, I believe, were cool. And that was where in the altercation, there was a vibe that I, I, my hand has hit his, his eye or I slapped him or something. Did he say or do anything to make you that angry? No, Angel didn't do anything personal to make me angry. Like I was pissed off the last vibe that said, it be the people themselves, they changed their mind. And so I was like, yo, this is my honest truth. So that was what charged me on top of everything. Because we were there for almost four hours, mosquitoes, the batters. And even when we were there, I was the one praising the show. Like the setup, I was just praising Sarkodie all through while I was waiting over there and, 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 and jamming. And everybody else was like, killer. So they couldn't talk to me because they were assumed that my veche. But almost someone banned all the energy in it, I said, she almost said, no, the show must stay. Only for them to say, let's come in the inner pre pre perimeter. For the guy to come and add that one, bro, we're human beings. I couldn't take that. Like, it be the people themselves, they change their mind. Ah, come on, man. Like, this one there. So when, Ange when he went back there to, like I said, he went to say a different story and every, the whole thing was chat. So Angel came back to speak to me and to calm me down. And that was when he said, there was like, I hit him. But I mean, let's be honest, please. I mean, I couldn't look Angel in the eye and want to fight him. So I, I respect the fact that this was an altercation. And if my hand touched your eye or I, you know, or I hit you or something, what do you do next from there? If it was really not intentional, I waited for another two hours to see the show close. When people had come, Sledge had come, many senior men who were there, Abi had come to say, go home. George Quay had come to say, no, I don't care about the performance. I care to solve this thing here with Angel because for her to go to the level of that I've touched him, it wasn't intentional. Therefore, I will stay and make sure him and I are cool. I was telling Angel, Joe, even if I have to turn my cheek for you to slap it, I'm an Ashaiman boy. That's how we grow. Street, street. Then we continue going. So Angel come and was cool, you know. And we were in the inner perimeter at the time with the police people. We were just chilled. With the realization, I know I won't perform, but I needed to calm the situation. Where was Sak? And when Sak came eventually, I was friend by his own car. I was pleasant, I mean, which, Apologies I, to which him. I think to an extent I was not even supposed to do. But me, I'm honest as it is. Because I, my intentions were not, look at how the whole thing just turned into now me being the one to. I'm still cool with that because I same Nacy. So when he came in, the witnesses were there. Book Bag Bright was there. People were there. They saw said the tree farm so. And I'm said, "Di nechi, I go saw the camera. Say, Joe, now until the app on the car and the tree farm so call here. That's it. But I bet two so say many angel cry. Are you cool? Ah, yes, she inside or what? Until if I had any ego reasons or ego, and I had some look at the, the whole situation. So the next two days was when we saw angels plaster. And it became a police case. And the police are there. They said it. Sack drove the guy there to report. And then the eyewitness who also went to join the gun issue was what was like. But when the eyewitness went there and was talking, when they were talking about the gun thing, luckily enough, the team who was handling the case knows that 
proud to the VGMA event. My guns are with them. Mm. So that's when they didn't charge up. So they, I was called and said, relax, it was supposed to be today, but come tomorrow. The way you say your guns, how many guns do you have? I mean, just for English sake. <laughs> because, because I also understand that my brother's own is also with them. So, mm. so that people know there's no violence in the system anymore. That's why I use the word guns. So this is how simple I think the story went. Some out of love, shit does happen. And then now it escalates to that point. I'm not going to take it too hard. But this is the real thing. Let, let me ask you this. If it were you, let's say, been, been to the World Concert. Yeah. And let me take Black CD as an example. All right. And it was, okay, you finish. As closer as you yeah, were yeah. with CD, yeah. managing you, your yeah. brand, mm. then um, Saka had come there. Yeah. And all of a sudden, well, until I get, to, I haven't spoken no, to Sark nah, about I mean, this issue yet. Can, Hold on, please. And so, um, I don't know his reaction. Yeah. What would you have done if Black City may have been reported to be hit at an event that is so dear to your heart? All right. If I invited Sarkodie by, by virtue, if I invited Sarkodie by text message, by reminders, by, you know, we, we have that rapport. Mm. And I'm like, yo, I'll be here, but I'll come because I've definitely given you my words. And on the day, I think even on the day or a few hours before, I was messing. I'm like, oh, I'm coming. I'll do it for you like I promised. You know, and I invited um, Sarkodie. We have all waited behind the stage, you know, for he must have also waited for some time. We all do this for each other, right. you know. But to the extent where if I come now, right, and I realize that Sarkodie is apologizing to Black CD. Look, I'll be, I'll be ashamed. I'll be ashamed. I'll be like, honestly, honestly, because I'll be like, ah, Sark, even if Sark slapped Sark CD. Odier, hey, even if Sark slapped CD, and I come being the one that invited Sark, I swear down, I will never be on, a, I'll, I'll make sure, because I'll be, I'll be like, Sark, please, I'm sorry. You know what really did about but black, but you cry, but you what's up? I beg, I beg, chill. To see Sarkodie even begging or in, in that manner with, it's too much respect I'll give to him because he has actually sh leveled himself in a way that, look at, look at Sark begging CD. Like, yo, I will just stop. Ah, Sark, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, but and then I will take it from there because the person, if me invite him, where something happens. So I'll go listen to the matter. But by the way he moved, I believe that he had prejudged the issue already within that time mm. and wouldn't even listen to me upon my efforts made. You see, we're not here to tarnish anybody's image, bro. But the truth, but the truth, the truth. has to be spoken. Like, I've admitted whatever. I even came out to do a video. You know what I mean? That is how I have stuck to my non-intention to, to be a part of the chaos. Be, be, witnesses... You know what Claim I mean? You, you, you were angry because you, uh, be, ego. Because you, you felt like, yeah, I'm an A-list If I had I'm that this, much I'm... dirty ego, I would have driven off. Okay. Because I would have felt that I've accomplished what I came to do as in send my statement across to be like, yeah, next time you guys will respect me. No way. Why then would I wait another two hours to even be told that you can't perform for something I was prepared, mentally hyped up for, for the same song that is one of the biggest songs on the album? No, that's my favorite on the album. You get what I'm trying to say? So right. I think that anybody who's trying to point me at ego's level, you've gotten it wrong because now let's put that thing on the table and discuss it. If I was super egoistic, I think I wouldn't stand there and be talking to angel or would have waited for another time realizing that even what i came to do is wasted and i came to wait only to beg you know what i mean and the police case goes on and also thanks to um um Co commander kofi Boache who stepped in last hour and angel as well i give him the props you know to also pull off when they pulled off sack was called on the phone and was had to be asked do you please that the case is pulled off and then he said yes and it was pulled off that means he still have some love for you. I mean, however it is, we all respect one another. And then I think that we'll, we'll, we'll pick the pieces from wherever we left, you know. But I, I think... Have you spoken to I, him as human afterwards? also, I as human also, irrespective of whatever, 
also would have been pleased to say, oh, bro, sorry, oh, say things went out this way also. Because if I was going to be accorded with the same respect, I should also be like, oh, bro, sorry, say that. Let's just be, you know, but it'd be like, say, my brother, you know, almighty highest. You know what I mean? So everybody else, you know, and I'm being honest and I'm saying this. And if I meet him one on one, I'll manage to send this info across that, bro. I felt hit. I felt, I also felt belittled so much so that, Charlie, this could have been a nice situation of, we all know, say we know force. Because I couldn't really just come there. Or, or if you knew I was very violent, you wouldn't have invited me over there to, if you, you know, like, so it was a thing that happened and I thought we could have, but it's cool now. Thanks to him again for accepting to pull the thing out of police. Mm. Yeah. But in the end, this is the whole virtue. This, you know? this whole vibe about Stoneboy being quick-tempered, mm -hmm. where it has become... I mean, at the time, just as you mentioned earlier, hey, people are not well-informed and people are not well-informed. But it's like, it, it, it has, it, it's, it's getting tagged. Me, I don't mind. I tell you honestly on the truth of God. Mm. People will say whatever they have to say. Bro, do you know what they're saying about you somewhere that you don't know? I know, right? You know? So as for that, I'll leave it to them like I always say. They wouldn't know better than myself. You know? You know what I mean? So if they say I'm quick-tempered, da, 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 that's how they want to conclude it without looking into what makes the tree branch waver. You know? It's just the air that blew it. You know what I mean? So and then I'm not quick-tempered. I'm a very loving person, a very die, like I, I love people. And when I love you, I go all out. That's the kind of person I am. I sacrifice for people, bro. These are things that I don't expect the masses to know. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. But those who are saying I'm quick-tempered, please cancel that out of your mind. You know? Yeah. Thank you. you well, we are ending. Uh, how, how is Anwaga Junction doing? Yo, um, crazy crazy but i beg i would like to end with um refreshing you know the beam fridays and the health work as well if you don't mind so i tad based on those because this weekend is going to be very very packed and um i'd appreciate a lot of people to turn out so i beg you all to turn out make sure you are there all of us that are coming from here this side let's gather at the sakasaka park ashaman is going to meet us up at the presby junction we're going to do the walk on saturday 5 a.m in the morning Rest assured, we have refreshment, we have Milo for you and all of that. Let's show the world that we're united in our differences. Come in your party colors, the MPP, the NDC, the CPP. Like, look at that. Let's put on nose marks too as well. Like, we've made provisions for 5,000 nose marks. That imagine everybody in that, you know, showing love, showing peace towards this election. Because we need to keep the peace of Ghana. And again, the Beam Fridays, you know, is also on. And there's got a lot of prices to be won. There's an opportunity to link up, let's connect, let's vibe. I'm going to do an acoustic session, karaoke. There are a lot of prices to be won. You know, Enclave Gardens is a, part, is a proud sponsor and a partner. They're giving us the venue. You know, that's one of the best venues for your weddings and your outdoor events. You know, this is powered by Brenton Music Group, Johnny Walker as well. Techno Mobile, Big Boss Energy Drink. Multi-Choice is going to give us some stuff as well. Plat platinum Furniture, like... Event starts at 7, tables to be sold. I repeat, the same number is what you can call 050-1550,000 for reservations and all of that. Mm. This is Beam Fridays to the world. Right. You know, we're going to come to a stop near you soon, you know. Right. Yeah. And yeah, I want to say something real mm. quick. You, about the ego. And I check the meaning of ego. It means self-esteem and self-importance. Right. If our forefathers had that, we wouldn't have gone to slavery. <laughs> so it's very important to have self-esteem. I'm happy Sark has... Pull down, pull down mm. the, the case totally. Mm. Let's leave it at that and then yeah, understand it, Charlie. One love for everybody. Yeah, man. Because, so Enclave Gardens is at East Legon, if you, if you care to know. So that's where the first version of Beam Nation, the only one that's happening in Accra, is going to be at. So all Beam fans from the corporate to the ghetto, let's, let's, let's gather, you know, even if you're not a Beam fan, you love Stoneboy, you love music, let's gather. It's Friday. We're doing this in place of assignment to the world so it's packed the friday and the saturday we've called on all the opinion leaders all the various political party leaders and assignment to come together i love to see the npp mp the ndc mp and all the other ones come together we do this work to preach peace and show progress you know and also i commend 
the EC as well. This has blown my mind. Like, yeah. so I believe and know that we're going to get a very fair, fair election. This is the only time we all know the number of people that have registered. And it's never been done, I think. I don't know. But I don't think I've seen this in Africa. Because the way African is, is, things are done, you hardly find this level of transparency. So big ups to the EC for this one. We're guaranteed of a peaceful election, a, a fair one as well. And the corona vibes that has, how we're treating it, I think that we're responsive to it very well. Uh, aside the fact that the fees at the airport, is uh, we have to look into it. You yeah, mentioned then. something. This reminds me. Oh, we almost ended the interview. So, yeah, you were concerned about the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. What were you saying? In fact, I read your... You're concerned, but I couldn't really. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too clear for me. Yeah, I know, right? It's not. It's not really clear for all of us sometimes <laughs> how these things go. But I know it's for the better cause. Like I'm saying, I big respect to the presidency and the government for um, being very responsive to the corona pandemic. Like the president comes to address us on what's going on, and I think that um, travelers also have a concern of you know the fees. We know um, the people who are in charge would have done their due diligence to place it on that fee but we beg them that now that corona is still even increasing right it's going to also make people lose a lot more jobs like the standards of living has dropped and the way they be so noisy i know some people will say that ah if you can't travel why are you traveling if you don't have money why but traveling is not for some type of people it's for everybody you might need to go in and out so imagine those who have to travel for their works they are not traveling anymore and now that the airports have been open for us to go under the protocols of COVID, some people might not be able to even afford that $150 in and out, like myself, you know, and, and others. So we are just begging for a reduction. I'm not alarmed about the multiple number of tests that have to be done. It's for our safety. But the more the number of tests, I think when the price is reduced a little, it will help us all to continue to obey and, you know, not find dubious means to go around, you know, this that's all my plea but you know big respect to the ec and i know that as an opinion leader i see myself as a unifier these are things that we have to amplify you know we don't have to wait to 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 get any form of remuneration as citizens and not spectators to be able to loud up the good things that are going on and how we can all share in in, in the growth you mm. know of the country so mm. big respect on that level being friday 27 we do the work on the 28 I'm out. You don't know. We're going to be releasing the biggest banger to lock up the year. Stone Boy, the video, activate. Anyone will get a leak version. And they said the song leak. It's a fake one. <laughs> because of the leak, we have actually added more spice and more pepper to the one. Too. Is it true the person who leaked it was beaten? Hey. <laughs> if I, if I have, if we had found. No, 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 no. I mean, let me. No, no. We, 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 we have names. The, 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 um, the respective things are working on making sure that that side is 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 is, is not abused any longer. But we have. A, I can't beat anybody. Is I it your song or Davido's? It's my song featuring Davido. It's a collaboration. So okay. Stormboy and Davido. You know, yeah. But nobody was beating. Right. I don't know where you got that. Hey, information. Charlie. Charlie, social media, man. No, 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 no. no. Sometimes I chance on them and yeah, you know, exactly. You have to read. Exactly. Right, I see. Charlie, but we need a video for this banger, man. It's coming. You know, I told you the other time, that Charlie, yo, we need come. a video for this. It has to come. Big up to Zlatan. Um, I think it was in town, but very busy. Mm. And it was the same week I was doing the David thing. So, you know, my album, we, we know finish. I recently went to shoot the video for Everlasting. Bow Down. Oh, okay. And as you see, our last video is out. So this album is gonna is gonna take time. Yeah, we cry. We're still mm -hmm. pushing it.